today I've got a very, very large pallet. I actually just got back from one of my liquidation spots. Today I picked up a total of uh, four pallets. Uh, two of the pallets had a total of 12 of the smaller boxes on them for a total of two separate uh, like pallets. And two of the pallets had a total of these gargantuan sized boxes that you see tied down and stacked up towards the back of my truck. I don't really usually dabble in these large pallets much anymore just because of the size of them, the weight of them. Um, you get bigger items out of them. But what we're gonna do today, I'm actually gonna do these huge boxes. The total value of this one pallet, or I should say two pallets combined, was $2,533. My cost was only 173 bucks, okay? It was a pretty good cost pallet. So I'm gonna have to actually unstrap down my truck, untie this, move all of the other. I've got toys and electronics for the smaller boxes. Move these out of the way so I can get to the bigger boxes. So let me do it really quick and I'll be right back. Almost done. I've got one more strap to undo. Then we can do our first box. So these boxes are actually much larger than what you're used to seeing on my YouTube channel. If anybody used to watch me back in 2016 and 2017, there's probably honestly very, very few of you who actually did because my videos back then only got about 100 views a video. So, um, <laughs> there's the people who actually watched me back then, who watch me now, there's probably only like maybe like one or two people. Um, so I used to make liquidation videos back then of these actual boxes. So I have done these boxes before on my channel, but it's been a few years. And uh, these boxes are huge. I say they're about uh, five feet. Here's about maybe it's three feet by two feet. But these boxes hold a lot of stuff. And the liquidators, I say Amazon, they pack these full. So the total two skids weigh a total of 450 pounds. And some of these boxes, they're heavy. And the size of these boxes make it very hard to load up by yourself. Very hard. But uh, let's see what's in these things. How, how about it? Wish I had something to put stuff on while I'm out here. Let me grab a table. No available table right now. So we'll just make it work. But uh, these are pretty much the ultimate hodgepodge pallets. They'll have lots of brand new items like this. Like very first box, you've got brand new three things of detergent. Brand new, you know what I'm saying? And items like this, easy sellers, they can go for quite a bit of money. And you're gonna have lots of items Lots of mystery box items, these big boxes, like this. Don't know what this is. I don't know. You're actually probably gonna see me sweating this video right now. It is 92 degrees outside. It's hot. And I just got done loading this thing up, got home, and I'm outside shooting this because it's, it's a beautiful day. And I figured, you know what? Let's do back of the truck pallet video. So in this video, I'm gonna be sweating a lot. Heads up on that, because it's hot outside and I'm kind of chunky. So, <laughs> a mystery item right here. So stuff like that. And then we got something like this. 
This looks like actually, this is brand new in the package still. It is actually brand new in the box, a humidifier. But it looks like it just got damaged in the Amazon warehouse, so they, so they liquidated it. But it's actually in the shipping box still. It's in the actual shipping box from Amazon. It actually has the FBA tag on it for Amazon. So that's actually a fantastic item right there. It's good money. Let's see, what's next? Oh, it's kind of heavy. We've got 51 piece or 102 count plastic plates. So stuff like this, lots of times I keep it, you know. Box of plastic plates. And, oh, look at this. We've got a cuisine art. We got a, uh, was it panini press cuisine art? Yeah, nonstick panini press. This is probably psh, good 20, 25 bucks right there. Good deal on that. See, like this whole, these boxes are gonna be bigger items than what you usually see. The smaller boxes I usually buy um, that you see on the video are smaller items. These, these bigger boxes have bigger items. Here we got wallpaper adhesive, a brand new container of it, brand new, factory sealed. I gotta make sure I don't get too close to the camera, but yeah. There's the barcode for it right there. Ooh, it's warm out here, everybody. 92 degrees. And then next, Grundolf. We got another, looks like just a mechanical part in here. Lots of things like this in these boxes. Stuff I don't even know what it is. Amazon Basics desk mounted firearm safety device with biometric fingerprint lock. Whoa, what is that? We gotta crack this thing open. We got a biometric safe in this. This looks like. Biometric safe. Whoa, yeah, this is nice. You can put this, like a mouth onto your wall, onto a door, onto your desk. You got your combination pad, or you can use your finger. That's actually probably kind of expensive. That's a biometric safe right there for a firearm. So that's actually, that's, that's actually nice. That's actually kind of what it looks like. From the manual right there. That's cool. Next, is that another one? Single monitor stand, high adjustable arm mount. Oh, it's just a monitor, a computer uh, monitor stand. Nothing too, too fancy. And then last item in this first box, Invacare. Yes, you can. Let's see what's in this. Oh, it is a, uh, for a wheelchair. It's the footrest, replacement footrest. Those actually have some pretty decent value to them too. Decent value to, to those things. So that's the first box. If you notice like everything in that box, it's all bigger stuff. Like there's nothing like small, it's all bigger items. And lots of times bigger stuff can sometimes go for some bigger prices at times. So let me pull down next box okay this box here this one's heavy this one is heavy um, when I get these boxes from the liquidator uh, none of the top of the boxes were sealed they were all um, 
like they don't come like factory sealed or anything or you know like sealed from Amazon and these have so much weight in the boxes that pretty much the boxes are falling apart like literally everything in this box could burst through the bottom at any second it weighs that much um, that's one of the bad things about buying these pallets is you like this could literally fall apart these boxes could literally fall apart as you go through them if you pick it up this, these boxes could literally collapse and everything could just fall through the bottom because it weighs that much what's this Ugh. We got a big wrapped up. Looks like this is kind of like a. It's very used. It's very dirty. There's grass inside of it. Um, it's going to the trash can. Trash. Next. Oh, cool. That's neat. Look at that. We got a Black and Decker corded blower. I know um, usually in the fall time, it seems like you'll get a lot of these in the fall time, or not I should say fall, more towards the winter time, you'll get these once people use them and then they start returning them. But I usually don't get these much in the summer times. So this is kind of nice. I get these a few months before they start selling. So it's a good item. Next. Makeup Bay. Looks like this must be some kind of a makeup accessory. It's been opened up a couple times. It's been retaped. It's not factory sealed. Yeah, if you start seeing sweat soaking through the shirt, because I'm starting to see it, because it's, it's hot out here today. It is hot. It is very hot and it's humid. Oh, what is this? It's nice. Um, yeah, so something to do with makeup. Some nice kind of like a travel case to do with makeup, it looks like. It's nice. So that's got a pretty good market on that. That'll have uh, that'll have buyers. The next we just got Grand Pitcher Green one count a Brita filtration system. The top of this thing has been opened up, so it is not factory sealed. It has been opened, so more than likely, if it's been opened up and returned, honestly, nine times out of ten, it's been used. It is not new, so like this it's probably no good let's say this box right here is actually marked heavy on it but it's really not that heavy though and it's a complete and total mystery box it has nothing on it but let's crack it open let's see why they marked this box heavy for there's something in here that they wanted you to be careful with. I'd say the box probably weighs about six, seven, eight pounds tops. So here's what's in it. One of these accessories like this that you'll get that takes a little bit of research to figure out what it is. There's the item. Okay, this next case is really heavy. It is 828 fluid ounce bottles of the brand Method. So most of the of the method is cleaning supplies. Uh, it says 28 cases per tier or 
It's just for packing purposes. Let's see what kind of method cleaner is in this box. So it's an entire case of method antibacterial all purpose cleaner. An entire case of it. It's warm. So it's a case of eight. Something like this though, honestly, I'm gonna keep it because uh, we can use that stuff. And then, oh, we got an air mattress. I'm actually sold out of air mattresses. I used to have about like 40 of them. Like no joke, I had a bunch. And I haven't received any for a long time. A long time. So stuff like this, I, it sells so well. This is a queen size. So this will move very, very quick. That's a good item. And last thing, we just got a home medics massager percussion action not bad you know so that's it for the second box so let me throw stuff back in the box actually take a small little break get out of this heat for a few minutes and i'll be back Okay, box number three. Took a small little break, cooled down a little bit, drink some water. Let's get back at it. Come on, there we go. So number three. Uh, let's go get some different stuff in this one. First one, what is this? Oh, I've never seen this before. Look, it's still factory sealed too. We've got a high pressure washer, a uh, Karcher or K, K A Archer, K Archer, Karcher, deck and driveway cleaner. I've never seen this before. That might be something that's some decent value. High pressure power. That's not bad. Okay. Let's see, we got a, a Mueller. Nespresso, Nespresso, you know what I'm trying to say, machine. Compatible machine, more space, larger mugs. That's not bad. Looks like it has gotten wet at some point. Box isn't wet, but there's like some water damage from something that's on the box. Let's, oh, this thing's kind of heavy. Oh, we've got a TV wall mount. Something fell out of it, but uh, this might be missing some small pieces for it. They have probably, honestly, have probably fallen out at some point. So something like this will have to be looked at very closely if I actually sell it, because it's honestly it's probably missing stuff. Oh, this is a pool float. We got drink holders in it. So this is probably some kind of like a round pool float that you can put your drink holder in it. Probably, about to say, probably it has a hole in it, but summertime just started, so it probably doesn't actually. It probably hasn't even been used yet. And then we've got a laundry bag sorter. That's kind of neat. It has a hole in the top of it. I would not be shocked if it's missing pieces though. I wouldn't be too, too surprised. Then we have a purple sewing machine brand is Janone different and it's still factory sealed has not been opened up yet either it's a decent item then we got two or three things left in this third box this is a set do not separate this is a four pack PP binder, a two inch four pack of binders. If I can peek in here. Oh, it literally is just binders. This top binder is completely damaged. It's ripped apart. So there's, there'll be three binders in here, just kind of like a paper binder. So those three, honestly, I sell them for like a buck a piece. Then box fuzz. Then we've got a Krups. Ooh, this thing's nice. A Krups Belgian waffle maker with removable plates. 
Ooh, that's nice right there. This thing will sell like hotcakes. That's really nice. Yeah, that's what I like about. Oh yeah. Um, what I like about the bigger box items, or like if you buy like the bigger, like the the bigger pallets, the bigger boxes, you get bigger items in the boxes, and you can get just some some nice big stuff, you know. The last thing in the third box, we have a mystery box. This is a pair of boots. Let's see. Is there poop on them? No. Brand is Milwaukee Leather. The brand is actually Milwaukee Leather is the brand. Women's boots have not been, they have not been used. It's a size nine US. Ladies, size nine women's boots. Brand new. So those aren't bad. Man, like they smell like like good like cowhide leather too like it doesn't smell like that cheap stuff like you can smell the leather you, like you can always smell that good quality like leather jackets and the good quality leather belts and leather like boots those smell like good leather if that makes any sense but it's in a three let me uh get the fourth box down off the top of the truck heavy one so here is the fourth box Ooh. this might end up being the last box for this video because it's hot and getting tired so might take a little break after this one and make this into actually a uh, a two-parter because yeah here we go uh, first item we have a a used pillow we've got dirt on it we've got hairs on it we've got some brownage on this side so that might yeah that might be some poopage so i pulled over the trash can I'm just gonna straighten the trash with that here we go we got next item we got a ready set done dirt devil uh simply sticks it's not bad. Um, you know what? Most of these almost always work. In the past when I've gotten these things, I've never had one that, that did not work. These have almost have always, almost, almost always have worked. Um, looks like everything in there inside of it is in good good shape. Doesn't look like, like overly dirty or used or banged up or anything. Let's see. Next we got a Belgian waffle maker. This has been opened up a few times. I'm just gonna see if this thing is like highly used or not. Because sometimes the uh, Belgian waffle makers can get kinda, kinda gross at times. So we're gonna find out. Yeah. You look at this thing, the inside of it. I can't see it, but there are uh, some uh, leftover Belgian waffles inside this box. Gross. So something like that, it's either you donate it or uh, you deep clean it or mark it down extremely cheap and see if anybody wants to buy it themselves and attempt to clean it. Sometimes you can't really get them very clean. Oh, that's cool. We got a globe, like a flush mount. Carolina globe flush mount. That's nice. But this will actually go for some decent money. As long as it's not damaged. So it's all still packaged up. Um, does not appear to be broken or damaged on the inside. It's a good item right there. It's, oh, here. Oh, that's heavy. We got a small fireproof 
safe, fire and waterproof safe. These actually don't actually go for a lot of money. They feel like 25 bucks. They used to actually sell for a lot more when they first came out years ago, because I used to have one back in like the 90s. I think now they're like 25 bucks, but good sellers though, they sell extremely fast. Whenever I get those things, they're gone like that. Ooh, we got a trash bag. Whenever you actually get a trash bag, like an actual trash bag, be careful. Um, Cause somebody actually sent this back into Amazon in a trash bag. I, I don't know what's, what's in this trash bag. We're just gonna set it aside for now. I really don't even wanna find out. Next. Huh. Looks like we have an entire case of Purell soap. Looks like it's still factory sealed. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Let's see what kind of soap we got in this thing. Okay. So we've got the healthy soap. Kind of like mounts in the wall like this. So actually, I'll just keep this and I'll just fill up my soap containers with this. You know? That came off. There's that. Then we've got, man, this thing's kind of heavy. 100 years, still cooking. Lodge, but it's cast iron, but it sounds broken. The Lodge stuff, the cast iron, it breaks so incredibly easily. You wouldn't think so, but the Lodge stuff, it, oh yeah, it's, it's broken. This Lodge stuff does not hold up very well. So this Lodge, it's broken can't it lodge like a cast iron you can't fix it so last item in this box and we have kind of like a repeat kind of we have another whole case of method cleaning supplies this one is method daily shower spray oh too close to the camera Shower spray. So this is an entire case of, what, probably 12 or eight 28 ounce bottles. And honestly, I'm, I'm gonna keep this case because we can use this here at our own house and it'll save us quite a bit of money. Because why sell this when we can keep this, use this, and save us money in the long run. So, yeah, that was the first four gigantic boxes. These are the size of the box. Like, you know, like how wide that I am. These are how big these boxes are. Yeah, I, you can't even really even fit it in the camera frame. But yeah, these things are huge. So they came on two pallets, four on each pallet. And uh, they total weight for what it said was 450 pounds. And I believe it. These boxes weighed, they weighed, or these boxes, they weighed a lot. So we gotta take a little break, take a little downtime, and uh, I'll record part two, either maybe later on today, maybe tomorrow, some other time. But uh, yeah, part one, this, this is actually fun. I haven't done these kinds of boxes. It's been a while. It's actually, it's been, it's been a couple years. But yeah, if you followed me back about three years ago on YouTube, You've seen me do these boxes about three years ago. And those videos, like I said, got about 100 views a video. Pretty much like nobody watched them. Half the views were probably from me watching, you know, just going back and uh, just watching them again myself, I guess. But anyway, if, if, if you like seeing stuff like this, let me know. There's a lot of these items in these boxes, like we haven't seen them on this channel. Because I do want to kind of branch out and buy some different kinds of pallets now. Like I do want to get some more of, as we call them in the business, Gaylord pallets. Which a Gaylord is just the terminology for a pallet that is kind of like a uh, watermelon type of big box. Filled and then filled like eight feet high. That is just called a Gaylord pallet in the business world. That's just, that's just what it's called. That's what it's always been called. So I want to branch off and get get some of those. 
See if you guys like those, some different types of pallets. The bugs are coming out now. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video. Uh, I'll do a part two with those four boxes. Maybe see, maybe do it next time. See you soon. I'm out.